The Minister of Tourism, Fatima bint Jafar Al Sayrafi, held a meeting with Saudi Arabia's Minister of Tourism, Ahmed bin Aqil Al Khatib, on the sidelines of the world travel market in London. During the meeting, Al Sayrafi emphasized the importance of enhancing tourism relations between the two kingdoms. She highlighted the activation of the partnership in tourism, marketing for both countries as a single tourist destination in China, and the launch of joint tourism packages contribute to enhancing sustainable tourism development efforts, thereby increasing the sector's contribution to overall development and prosperity. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma al Sayrafi, participated in the World Travel Market London Exhibition 24, held from the 5th to the 7th. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain is taking steady steps towards strengthening its position as a leading tourist destination in the region in the field of travel, entertainment and hospitality. The Bahrain Pavillon concluded its participation in the exhibition after its great success in showcasing the kingdom's tourism product to around 40,000 visitors this year. This participation supports efforts to strengthen ties with the UK market, a key focus within Bahrain's Tourism Strategy 2226. Bahrain's pavillon included Gulf Air Group Holding, Exhibition World Bahrain, the National Carrier Gulf Air, the Bahrain Economic Development Board and travel and tourism agencies, hotels and resorts. A delegation led by the Under Secretary of Ports and Maritime Affairs at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Badr Ahud Al Mahmoud, represented Bahrain at the 26th GCC Ministerial Committee meeting on transportation in Doha, bringing together transportation ministers from GCC countries. The committee reviewed agenda items and the implementation of decisions related to cooperation in land and maritime transport among the GCC states. Topics and studies concerning the GCC Railway Authority, the operational plan for the project, the land transport strategy and green corridor initiatives for ports were also discussed. The head of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee at the Shura Council, member of the parliamentary delegation, Attorney General Dalal Jassim al Zayed, affirmed that Bahrain has taken qualitative initiatives and enacted advanced legislation and laws that guarantee combating the phenomenon of hatred of the basis on religion and belief, indicating that the kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, is a civilized society where various cultures, religions, beliefs and sects coexist with each other. This came during the participation of Bahrain's delegation of the parliamentary division in a virtual symposium organized by the IPU on parliamentarians combating hatred on the basis of religion or belief. Al Zayed also said that it is necessary to focus on legislative dimensions to criminalize acts of religious and ideological hatred and that Bahrain hosted the 146th General Assembly of the IPU in 2023. She added that the Manama Declaration included urging the criminalization of violence and hatred and calling for peaceful coexistence, which underscores the approach of Arab and Islamic countries in cooperating with various countries and international bodies in order to guarantee the moral and human right of coexistence. Bahrain's delegation of the parliamentary division also participated in the presentation held remotely and presented by the IPU entitled Key Findings of the World E-Parliament Report for the Year 2024, where the participants praised the positive progress achieved by Bahrain's Shura and Representative Councils in digital advancement at the international level for parliaments. The virtual presentation was attended by member of the Shura Council, Hala Ramzi Fayaz, members of the Representative's Council, Dr. Mahdi al shweikh and Hassan Ibrahim. The report included the foundations adopted by the Interparliamentary Union in classifying countries and their results within the Digital Maturity Index, represented by public participation, digital content, publishing, user support in Parliament, parliamentary systems, infrastructure, government strategy and management in the digital field. 
Member of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee at the Council of Representatives, member of the parliamentary delegation, Dr. Mariam Saleh al dhan stressed that Bahrain stands out as a pioneering model in calling for peace through His Majesty the King's initiatives, which call for peace, brotherhood, coexistence and dialogue among religions. This came during the participation of Bahrain's delegation of the parliamentary division in a virtual symposium organized by the IPU on parliamentarians combating hatred on the basis of religion or belief. The delegation of the parliamentary division was represented by the head of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee of the Shura Council, Attorney Dalal Jassim al Zaid, member of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee of the Representative Council, Dr. Maryam Saleh al Zain, and Deputy Head of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee of the Representative Council, Hassan Ibrahim Hassan. al Zain said that the seminars organized by the IPU are an important step towards strengthening international parliamentary cooperation in combating hatred and violence based on religion and belief and parliamentarians must demonstrate their commitment to promote peace and social justice in their societies and to work towards achieving the sustainable development goals by 2030. The Nasser bin Hamad cycling tour for amateurs held under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continued with its second stage covering a distance of 65 kilometers in the Sakhir area. The second day of the tour witnessed wide participation from cyclists from within Bahrain, residents and cyclists from GCC countries amid an atmosphere of enthusiasm and strong competition. Winners were crowned at the end of the second stage with awards presented by the president of the Bahrain Cycling Federation, Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Director of the Nasser bin Hamad Cycling Tour for Amateurs, Ahmed Al Hajj, representative of Al Salam Bank, Abdul Hamid Mullah Bartit, and board member of the Bahrain Cycling Association, Ahmed Al Bouainin. The results of the second stage were as follows. First place among Bahrainis was won by cyclist Hussein Aqil Samar from the Bahrain Giant team, followed by Mohammed Isa Al Ghaith from the Victorious team in second place, and third was Mohammed Hassan Jawad from the Victorious team. In the open category for Bahrainis, Gulf nationals and expatriates residing in Bahrain, first place was claimed by cyclist Saeed Hassan from Dubai Police, with Ahmed Madan from the Victorious team finishing second, and Hilal Jabber from the ABH team taking third. Cyclist Mohammed Isa Al Ghaith managed to maintain his lead in the overall ranking and the best time in the yellow jersey. He also retained the red jersey for most points, while Hussein Aqil Thamer from the Bahrain Giant team held on to the blue jersey for under 23 years, and Aqil Thamer from the Bahrain Giant team kept the green jersey for leading in the over 40 years category. In the open category for cyclists from GCC countries and expatriates, Hilal Jabber from the ABH team maintained his lead in the ranking and the best time, as well as the great jersey for most points. Cyclist Jassim Mohammed from the Nasji team held the purple jersey for the under 23 years, and Kevin Orlandi from the Victorious team retained the pink jersey for over 40 years. The third stage takes place today at Al Masari Al Bahrain, covering a distance of 153 kilometers, crossing several areas in Bahrain. <laughs>